Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. In this video, we discuss about the structural activity relationship of loop diuretics. Loop diuretics are also known as high ceiling diuretics. These act on thick ascending limb of loop of Henle and therefore it is also known as site 2 diuretics. In this video, we discuss in detail about the structural activity relationship of these loop diuretics. Let's begin with this. The loop diuretics having a two major classes which are sulfonamide derivatives and non-sulfonamide derivatives. Examples of sulfonamide derivatives are furosemide, bumetanide and example of non-sulfonamide is ethacrinic acid. In this video, we discuss in detail about the structural activity relationship of loop diuretics having this sulfonamide derivatives class. Uh, for this, we having a two in general structure. The numbering of these two rings uh, is here. So these are a five sulfamoyl. 5-sulfamoyl, 2-amino benzoic acid and 5-sulfamoyl, 3-amino benzoic acid. So this is the general structure of this sulfonamide derivatives we consider for discussion of structural activity relationship. First point is the substitution at first position must be acidic. The carboxyl group provides optimal activity, but other groups such as tetrazone, which also responsible for the diuretic activity. Second point is the activating group X in fourth position can be chloride, carbon trifluoride, or phenoxy, alkoxy, anilino, benzyl, or benzyl group. Next point is the fifth position sulfamoyl group is essential for optimal high ceiling diuretic activity. So this fifth position SO2 NH2 group which play an important role and it must be a unsubstituted and essential one. These two series of 5 sulfamoyl benzoic acid differ greatly in nature of the functional group that can be substituted in the second position and third position with retention of maximal diuretic activity. So this amino group must be present to the second position or to the third position. So if it is present to second position, form chemical classes 5-sulfamoyl 2-amino benzoic acid whereas present to third position, the class is 5-sulfamoyl 3-amino benzoic acid. The high ceiling diuretics that can be developed from this 5-sulfamoyl 2-amino benzoic acid series include furosemide and azosemide and those from 5-sulfamoyl 3-amino benzoic acid series include bumetanide and pyritanide. In next slide, we see the structure of this First, 5-sulfamoyl 2-amino benzoic acid form compound is furosemide. The structure of furosemide here, the connect uh, the X, which is the active activating group, is a chloride one, and here is the 2-amino group, which is a substituted one with furfuryl group. Whereas the 5-sulfamoyl 3-amino benzoic acid one representative example of this class is bumetanide and here the activating group is phenoxy and here is the presence of amino group to the third position. Here we discuss the structural activity relationship of loop diuretics. Hope all of you getting this. Thank you. Happy learning.